So my beautiful people, I am back with another Elden Ring video. And in this video, guys, I bring you a guide on all the best early game rune farms. How's it going, guys? My name is DPJ, and if you do enjoy the video, leave a like, it really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so if you're a new player or a relatively new player, I bet you are sick and tired of searching YouTube for a guide to help you level up. You find a video titled Super Early Rune Farm. You click the video, it requires you to get to an end game area or progress ridiculously further on into the game, which will take you hours to do so. And you don't want to do that. You want real early rune farms, which you can use from the very start. Well guys, I have you covered. So this video is for new players, more or less new players only. If you've played a uh, game for 20 hours plus, 50 hours plus, 100 hours plus, this definitely isn't for you. You're obviously going to know the better room farms in the game. This is for new players. Okay, so there are three or four you can use real early on from basically the very start of the game, uh, which, I'll, which I'll guide you through today. And we're going to start with the sleeping dragon. So there is a dragon asleep, guys, right here on the map. Where is the graze point? The graze point is right there. So you make your way. So, okay, so the first graze point you'll come to is this one right here, the first step. Within this area, guys, if you're a brand new player, you will need to activate a few graces and you'll eventually get your horse. You'll probably already done that already. Then, guys, you want to make your way across here. So come up to this actual... Well, actually, we want to come here first because to kill this dragon, you need a a weapon with a bloodlust buildup on it. If you didn't start as a samurai, you probably haven't got one of these. So firstly, you want to come to this Death Touch Catacombs, which is a, a quick little run up here. Just like so. so. Come here, guys, and I'll meet you right there. Ba -ba 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 Bam! I'm right there already. Okay, so this is actual... The catacombs you'll run through here you haven't got to fight anything so if you're a low level don't worry about that you haven't got to fight anything death touch catacombs is where you want to come to just run down here guys run past the grace we may want to activate that grace just in case you do fail don't worry about that door if you will be close take a left come down here jump past him don't worry about him come on underneath these stairs through this door Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Take a hard left. And then on this statue right here, guys, there will be this weapon, which is the Uchi Gatana. This causes that bloodlust buildup, as you can see. Now you've got that, you are good to go. Okay, so with the Katana within your inventory, you now want to make your way across to this grace point right here, like I said, the Fort off. So just follow the path. All the way along the top, guys, you will eventually get here. As long as you pick up the map uh, fragments, you shall see on your map anyway. Grab these, make your way across to here. Now, when you are here, guys, you will notice there is a giant white dragon just down there from the grace. So you make sure you activate the grace, apply that katana, and go down and chop at that dragon's tail. Chop at his tail for about four or five minutes. And what you then need to do is, guys, because you can actually farm this dragon over and over, earning unlimited runes, and you get a bunch 40k plus every single time. What you want to do is, guys, when his health is real, real low, basically none left on the bar, you want to look out for that animation. As soon as you hit him and he does an animation of moving, you need to jump on your horse and make your way back to this grace. In fact, once you get him down to a low health, you may as well prep by getting on your horse ready for this. So get on your horse, hit him as soon as he dies, scarp back up the hill to the grace, jump off your horse, sit down at the grace. When you stand back up, you'll be rewarded the runes, but the dragon will be back there for you to do this again. And guys, you can do this over and over and over as long as you don't mess up the rotation and you leave it too long after you've killed the dragon to reach the grace at the top of this hill. Now, if you've already killed the dragon or you've made a mistake somewhere down the line, there are a couple of other farms you can use. Another one is the bull farm or the boulder. So what you want to do, guys, is make your way up to this grace point right here, Lenny's Rise. It really is quite simple to get to, guys. So, yep, just make your way up to it. 
Again, if you've got the map fragments, you'll see exactly where I am. Just mark this spot and then just travel to here. So from this grace point here, guys, we're going to farm a couple of boulders. Now, these boulders spawn in when you travel down this hill and they fly towards you or roll towards you. If you dodge them or dodge out the red at the correct time, they'll roll off the map and you'll get 2,000 runes for it. Just like so, you see the border there, dodge out the way, and you'll see it rolls off the map. And I get 1,952 runes. Come down the hill, guys. And there is another border you can do this with. And it really is just simple. Come here, jump out the way, and it will roll off the map. And then go back to the grace. Rinse and repeat. Now there is a one time uh, rune farm method where you get a chunk of runes. It requires you to come back to this Lenin's Rise at night. So come to the grace point, make sure it's night by turning it to or pastime, wait until nightfall. When you do this, guys, when you stand up, you'll see a knight's cavalry on the bridge right in front of you. What you need to do here is, guys, run past this knight's cavalry, get his attention and make him follow you up the hill as you can see me doing on the screen now now you don't want to get too far away from him because he will lose interest he will lose aggro and turn back around you want to follow him you want to get him literally right on your ass until you get to the top of the hill and then take a sharp left because what's happening here is guys you're running through these poison spots and they're affecting him at the same time when you get to the top of the hill and take a sharp left you'll notice his health bar will disappear off the screen you will then guys be rewarded an absolute massive chunk of runes which will really help you out. Now there is another farm you can use within this area but you will want to level up slightly just to come here. The enemies here you want to be killing they drop 1000 runes each. Now they ain't the hardest of enemies in the game and if you use the rune farms I've showcased you today you can definitely level up in no time and farm these enemies so you want to come to the foam great bridge grace point as you can see right here on the map just north of lenny's rise so come here guys and i'll meet you there so from here guys around this massive area if you get on your horse you'll see these little black creatures these little monsters these little enemies here each one of these guys will give you over fat worth about a thousand runes each simply come up behind it and take him out if you can to me, they're actually so easy, but hey, to other people, they ain't going to be that easy. But yet, there are absolutely tons of these in this area. I mean, if you jump on your horse, guys, you'll see them. One there, you see one down there. I mean, there's, there's so many of them, guys. It's absolutely ridiculous. Another one there, another one over there. They are in the shitload here. Another one there, guys. I mean, if you go down there as well, there's plenty down there. I'm just like four gathered up down there somewhere as well. I mean, these are all over this area, even over this side as well. You can see one there too. See him right here. You can see that one down there. One up there again. There's, there's absolutely loads of these guys, people. Absolutely loads. Probably 15, 20 of them in this area. I reckon you could take them out in probably four or five minutes once you've done that just fast travel back down to the grace rinse and repeat that farm it really is that simple now the very very best farm you can do in this game for early level players takes part in this area right here we call this the mugwin dynasty area now there's an actual hill here um which you can farm a bird but to get to this area guys you can either do this one or two ways the only way you can do it as an early level player is to complete the white faced Vari quest line. That requires you to take out uh, Godric the Grafted, who are located within Storm Vale Castle. But if you want a, a guide on that, I'll link it in the video description. It'll probably take you about an hour and a half, two hours. That's included farming within the methods today to level up in order you to take out these bosses relatively easy within Stormvale Castle. But the Whiteface Vario Quest gives you a medal, well, a medal called the Pure Blood Knights Medal, which you'll see here. Where is it? That's it right there. You use this, guys. You go straight to the also best spot in the game to farm runes, which is this here, the Mogwin Dynasty 
area. But yeah, guys, the bird farm which I'll showcase you today right now is by far the best farm for low level players. There's also a hill here which you can take advantage of. These enemies on the hill. I mean, literally, guys, if this weapon I'm using right now is called the Relic Sword, you get this for completing, uh, well, I say completing the game, you get it for defeating the last boss called the Elder Beast. Um, but yeah, I mean, yes, you can should take out this entire hill with a couple of swipes. And this gives you an absolute ton of those runes. But you will not be able to do that as a low level player. What you can do as a low level player though is farm this bird right here. And to do this guys, you need to have yourself a bow or crossbow. As well as those arrows or bolts. And I'll showcase you exactly how you do this. So. Remember though, you will have to actually um, get here via doing a whiteface via quest line to get the medal to actually be able to come to this area. But once you are here, guys, as a low level player, it's actually an amazing farm. So you'll use the grace right here, stand back up, people, run to this spot right here, aim for the sea, shoot the bird, and you'll notice, guys, he will run straight off the map. Upon him running off the map, you get, I think it's between 11 and 13k runes. There you go, 11k runes. You then, guys, just sit down, stand back up, and repeat the process. So, yeah, that's 11k runes literally every 10 seconds. But again, you need to have access to the Mugwin Dynasty area. And this is the area you can get to via doing the Whiteface via request line, which is more or less uh, you can complete from the very, very start. So, yeah. A guide for that will be found in the video description now there is one other farm you can do here once you get to this area and that requires you to jump off the map on your horse now it's relatively quite easy to do you can do this from any of the grace points you may have activated in this area but we're going to use the palace approach ledge road because this actual grace point is the the main grace point in, in regards to farming runes so from this grace point guys we want to actually get to the graveyard down there so just jump on your horse and follow this path I take. Now what you're doing here guys is you're actually jumping off of the map and swinging your weapon. When you do this, the actual swinging of your weapon cancels off the death, and, well cancels out the death animation. Upon doing this guys, you just continue to fall. You'll get to a point where you fall so far, the map above you despawns. That in turn makes the enemies fall down. The enemies die, you get their runes. It really is that simple. So this is the grave point I'm talking about, the graveyard. And you just want to simply, guys, jump across onto this rock right here. Boom. When you are here, simply double jump through these rocks and just swing your weapon. And just keep swinging away. Eventually, guys, you will get those runes. Then just simply fast travel back to the grave point and rinse and repeat. This is faster than farming a bird, in my opinion. But it's up to you in what you do do well there we have it guys these are the best early game room farms in Alden ring guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like it really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more Alden ring be sure to subscribe and hopefully it might be useful for people i will see you on that next one